this is practice. I'm back on site today and I'm just going to do a little work because I got to take River out to a social thing later on with his friends. Uh, but I did want to get some in today. And what I'm doing is you can see I'm moving the tape from the uh, floor joist that I did yesterday that I stained and I'm moving it to the new ones that I'm going to be staining today. I think I'm probably going to do two, two of them today uh, and you know, let them dry overnight and then I can keep, keep moving tomorrow. Uh, what I really want to talk about, though, is an issue with the electrical billing that's come up. I haven't mentioned it yet because I kind of want to see where it was going. Um, but it's, it's this. Uh, during most of the time we've been here, you know, running all the power tools and everything, the electric bills have been pretty much nothing. Five bucks a month, seven bucks a month. A power tool seems like it used a lot of electricity, and it does, but it's really short-lived. Just like, done, you know. Uh, so we've been doing that for a while. And the first time that we got a real electric bill, uh, a, a, you know, any real size was when we got the place closed in and we started running an electric heater and a dehumidifier. We wanted to run the electric heater, keep it warm in here for when they poured the concrete slab. You can't have it freezing inside. Uh, and we were running the dehumidifier because there was so much humidity and all the lumber that had been sitting in here with you know rain coming through the whole structure before we get the roof on. So we're running those things 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And it was a big electric bill. It was $150. I'd never gotten an electric bill that big before. But, uh, you know, a heater and a dehumidifier 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. Uh, but, you know, at that point, we didn't need it quite as hot in here as we had had it before. So I took the electric heater and turned it down all the way to its absolute lowest setting. I'm like, okay, well, at least next month, you know, at least the bill will be a little bit less. Uh, well, it wasn't less. In fact, the next month, it was three times more. It was a $450 electric bill. That is astronomical uh, in my experience. I've never had an electric bill anywhere near that. Uh, and uh, it should have been less than the $150 bill because we were using less electricity. Uh, but I, I was figuring, well, you know, maybe it's like they, they saw we went from five, five to seven dollars a month up to 150 and maybe they couldn't do a meter reading so that, you know, their, their computer just kind of estimated. It's like, okay, well, they're going to use three. They seem like they're using three times as much every month or something like that, I, however it works. Uh, and you know maybe it was automatic, so I, I was figuring that the next electric bill would be lower. Maybe there'd be a credit. It's like, oh, you guys overpaid, and here's your credit back. Uh, in addition to that fact, we uh, took the electric heater and the dehumidifier, and instead of running them 24 hours a day, we turned it down to four hours a day. So it should be like one sixth of the power usage. Well, I just got the next electric bill after the $450 one. And it was less, but it was $370 uh, when it should have been. It, it really should have been way, way, way less. Where you, you know, everything's turned down to one sixth of what it was before. The power tools have never accounted for more than five to seven dollars a month. Something wonky with the electric stuff. Um, all this kind of coincides with the uh, our first electrician kind of getting removed from the project. I, you know, I don't know if people can sabotage things, but he was the kind of individual that talked a lot about other people stabbing him in the back and other people scheming against him. And whenever someone talks about what their problems with other people, I usually interpret that as a problem with themselves. People seem psychologically to be more in tune with issues that they themselves have. So whenever someone's talking about something they, they dislike in others, I always kind of think of that as a warning sign that they themselves may have that, that, uh, that trait, which I guess you could apply to me right now. Uh, but I, um, you know, I, I, I don't really know if this person got pissed that we kick them off the project and did something, or if their work, if this is just another example of their work, having you know, shoddy worksman, workmanship, maybe you know, some issue with their wiring or grounding and we're dumping electricity into the ground. In any event, I gotta track this problem down, find out what it is, because clearly there's a problem because the electric bills are way up here and they should be way down here. Um, so it's another problem to solve, we'll see. But I wanted to bring that up and I will let you guys know kind of how it develops. That's it, thanks for watching.